Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Hypermine modded server. And yes, as you can see, I have been busy. Um, we have barrels and barrels and barrels of stuff. Um, the quarry finished. And we have uh, stuff in there. <laughs> and that's all the kind of stuff I wasn't bothered to actually take out of the chests or all in those... Uh, uh, force wrenched chests uh, we have emeralds and diamonds and all sorts of good stuff um, we've had a couple of visitors as well um, there was a sign on this I uh, don't know what happened to it it got broken off but um, T.O. Lone Wolf gave me a back claw with um, the uh, the sign said here's something to drive you batty and um, yeah that's really awesome and I mentioned it in chat, and Armitage said, Oh, do you want some? I've got some. He gave me 20, which is even more awesome. Uh, and then <laughs> I managed to get one on my own as well, uh, before I even had a chance to use any of them. So, yes, I have been making my way through the tome. We're on tier 6. We're getting there. Um, and that means I now have a wing sword and a suit of wing armour. So I can fly. Ha <laughs> ha. Beautiful. Um, we've had another visitor as well. I recently made a bit of a snarky comment about um, uh, Benito's overuse of uh, landmarks. Um, I, I, uh, it was in a tweet I made to Armitage. And uh, yep, Benito came a visiting. <laughs> I took your advice and tested tested landmark yes mm. okay well that may be so Benito but apparently go away yes pain pain thank you um yeah you didn't pay attention <laughs> oh dear Come on, let's show him. A box. Let's get rid of these. Do, 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 do. Really? <laughs> How do I get rid of this now? <laughs> uh, okay, let's make a new box. One here, one here, and oh, out of magic, and one there. Uh, okay, that's sorry, that's a, a square. One there, and that's a box. Three landmarks for a 2D shape, four for a 3D. <laughs> anyway. Right, so I'm going to clear those up. Um, I'm not quite sure what I have to do to get rid of those activation lines. Maybe re-log. Um, but what we're going to do first, before I clear those up, is we're going to make a thing. Oh yes, a thing. Um, we get so many mobs. So many mobs around here. They're just all over the place at night. So, we're going to make a magnum torch. Uh, which will stop spawning on stuff that requires the dark to spawn at least for, I think it's 64 blocks radius. So, yeah, let's have a look. We're going to need five of these guys, which are made like that. One, two, three, four, five. And then we've got, I've got this, uh, health two and regen two potions. Um, you know, let me do that. Um, whoop, and Magnum Torch, bonk, <laughs> uh, yep, right, so hopefully I'm going to be slightly less molested at night around here, um, let's uh, quickly just show you another thing, um, hello Ogre, um, I have 
a roof full of Mark I force panels. Awesome. Um, this is, yeah, a l quite a lot of power, actually. I mean, still tier 1 power. We're not really, like, I guess you could call it mid-tier power. Seems we do have now a fully charged MFE outputting 5 EU, 512 EU a tick, which is awesome. Not all of these panels are actually hooked up. I've got so much stuff in here, I can't actually get the wiring to a load of those panels. So, yeah, it's time to move out of this place. I really need to get a storage, a proper storage area sorted, um, and also auto-processing. Uh, but before I do that, really, um, my storage, I think, re realistically speaking, we're, we're going to go for mostly deep storage for almost almost every item really i mean you know certainly all the blocks stuff that we get uh, lots of stuff from i mean i could use barrels and barrels do look cool but the yeah 64 stacks of 64 in uh, modded minecraft is not that much and the bigger ones are only 128 stacks of 64 it's just not that much space so i think I need to make a lot of deep storage. In order to do that, I'm going to need a lot of um, thingy, uh, ender pearls. Oh. Come on. I thought I could double jump up there. Probably could, but being a derp. Uh, and I'm sorry if, um, if my voice is a bit funny today. Uh, I have got a cold. So, um, yeah, I'm a, a little bit bunged up, um, but I am struggling on. Um, so, yes, ender pearls. So we're going to want an auto spawner for endermen. And um, if we look in this pack, uh, I have some auto spawners, some grinders, uh, a safari net containing an enderman, and a safari net containing a ghast, because... I want to be able to get more safari nets for more types of mobs. So a gas safari net is a good place to start because that's how I'm going to get lots of tiers to make more safari nets. I also have a force wrenched zombie and skelly spawner and these are going to be a good way to get some mob juice going uh, until I get a permanent solution for that. Sorry mate, you're in my area. So anyway, I'm going to set up uh, a thing here. Um, for uh, a building here to contain my spawners um, and I'll come back to you okay so I have made a big box to house the spawner system um, uh, pretty basic design um, we've got I do like this uh, glass from chisel though amazing stuff oh <laughs> Yeah, we've got these conveyor belts that should all bring it. It's a 9x9 nine nine in here. Uh, the conveyor belts should bring all the mobs along and in. And we've got three MFR grinders. And they're receiving power EUs from our solars. Um, and yeah, we need to um, hook things up. So um, first thing I'm going to do is, although MFR grinders will pick up um stuff <laughs> um did you oh lag uh, there we go <laughs> although they will pick stuff up they were there are certain objects they won't pick up like uh dark craft loot bags um i remember that from uh well it might have changed it was when i was playing uh, ftb unleashed sort of in my single player in a, a kind of a single player never Never recorded it, but um, so we're going to put obsidian pipes in here to pick up any stuff that these can't can't pick up. Um, <clears throat> uh, so yeah, and then uh, we'll bring that pipe. Uh, we don't really want. I don't know if it makes a difference if that's connected or not. Bring it there. Um, if I can get out bring a pipe along here and then now i could 
just put basics logistics pipes on the uh, backs of these and it'll route all the items but I need to extract the fluid so I want to test something I made these logistics fluid extractor pipes um, and I'm going to put those on like that now they should extract the fluid from the tanks I think because um, yeah logistics pipes can oh man at the <laughs> very loud um, logistics pipes can handle fluids as well as items which is awesome um, now they wouldn't extract items but because the items are going to get thrown out of the back I'm wondering if it'll pick them up anyway I'm not sure so it's worth a test um, but if they do pick them up um, we can I've got some more pipe along here um, we can put a temporary tank in very temporary just a standard kind of build craft tank tank I do like these tanks though I think they look pretty cool if you kind of put them in like inserts in the wall like indents in a wall or something anyway um, what we're going to do is we're going to give uh, a a fluid provider pipe a uh, supplier pipe even and also um not a request pipe not basic pipe we need a fluid provider pipe which is a basic pipe and a glass bottle um we glass bottle there we go cool Excuse the sniffles. Um, oh no, that's a request pipe. <laughs> there we go. So we should be able to use that then to provide our um, our grinders with um, with power. Now, um, two things occur to me. One is, I need to make sure that there's enough room. Where is that coming from? I need to make sure that there is um, enough room for a ghast to spawn. Which means uh, there needs to be a, an unimpeded like 5x5 five five area. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the, the, unfortunately, maybe I should have made this one bigger um but the uh if the spawners are in the middle they're not quite gonna have enough room to spawn i don't think certainly as we're gonna have to provide cables for power and all that sort of business um so what i'm actually thinking is i'm gonna take out one of these which will look ugly for the moment but um once I get, um, no, once I get um, uh, an assembly table online, I will uh, convert, I will cover um, it in facades. We'll put our pipes up here like this. Um, go. Ah, better. Um, we'll put our pipes up there, actually, thinking about it. There's no way to cover the power, and we'll need to get the power to the top as well. So perhaps, actually, what I need is a structure uh, to kind of carry the power up, thinking about it. Now I've done, now I've taken that out. <laughs> um... But yeah, we'll bring the power and the pipes and whatnot up to the top. And then, come on, thank you. We'll bring it up to the top and then bring it down the middle. I'm also going to want some uh, space to put a uh, redneck cable because... Is that the middle? Yeah. Um, or some form of uh, redstone so that I can control it and redneck cable is going to be probably the most compact way because uh oh well i'll demonstrate redneck cable uh to you 
in a little bit. So that's one thing. Now the other thing that occurs to me is I don't know if that magnum torch is going to disable um, these spawners. <laughs> Which was a kind of a silly thing not to check. Oh, look at that. Pro skill. So um, let's have a look, shall we? Um, no, they work just fine. Awesome. So let's get rid of that. Let's put you in there. Hello. Come on, let me... Let... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, come on. I'm not going to get out. I'm not going to get out. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> so... Let's have a look and see, are we getting fluid? Um, right, well, it's going somewhere, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to look at this for a while and uh, see what I can deduce. Um, and, yeah, I'll come back to you. Okay, so after a bit of fiddling, I have got this working and I'm really happy. So these fluid extractor pipes will accept the items, uh, probably because they're being thrown in. Um, by the uh, grinders and also you see these little things whizzing off down the pipe mob essence so yep yeah, it's handling the fluids I had to change this to a basic fluid basic pipe obviously when I thought about it and so we've now got our we've also got a fluid provider pipe so we're going to be able to pipe it the mob essence back over to the auto spawners so this is working pretty nicely. Um, what I am going to do... Oh, did, where did you spawn? You must have spawned right on the limit of that magnum torch and come flying over. <laughs> oh, unless you're neutral. I wonder if wisps are even affected by magnum torches. Oh, more of Benito's thingies over there. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Let this night pass so I can build up as much mob essence from these spawners as possible. Um, and then we're going to put in um, uh, the auto spawners that are, I've got two. I'm going to be putting in uh, an Enderman one and a Gas one. I might make another auto spawner and put find a green slime to put in it because they they don't really give you enough mob essence profit to run multiple auto spawners from in my experience but it will help um but what i'm probably going to be using is maybe uh like a cow breeding setup uh use all that wheat i'm collecting on something basically um and uh grinder with that and that all because that won't use up mob essence in order to make the cows and um, it'll be a good way to get my uh mob essence flowing so yeah this is about to get shut down um by the sun um but yeah i'm also uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a cut i'm gonna put a structure up uh, maybe here maybe back here maybe back here actually so it's on the opposite side from the road um and um and yeah, I'm going to run some uh, some pipe and red net and uh, power up there. Um, I guess I guess it's kind of temporary actually because I can probably move over to uh, 
uh, something wireless using, uh, I don't know, tesseracts or interdimensional energy storage or something uh, fairly quickly. But um, yeah, I'm going to work on that anyway and I will come back to you. Okay, so a um, little bit of messing about um, for this next stage, um, but I think we're ready to go. We've got two auto spawners, and uh, let's just get rid of these guys. Where's the other one gone? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, you can go in there as well. Um, so, yeah, what we've got is power coming up, over and down. Um, this one is going to have our gas. I'm not sure if they're on or off at the moment. <laughs> um, and this redneck cable. And the thing about this redneck cable is you can wrench this little band here and it will... Um, I'm going to run out of magic. You can wrench that little band and it will change colour. And that is used... It's like bundled cable from rednet or the project red which is in this pack um it allows you so for example that pink line uh, will only accept inputs or or what interact with other pink collars and the beige one the same only other beige collars um i wanted to run our logistics pipes down to these but for some reason uh the uh pipe would not um interact so i've got these fluid ducts and if i can just can i there we go um i put the thermal expansion fluid ducts in and um basically i'm using oh no i need to get back in there don't have to put the put the things in um yeah um the fluid pipe Let's just see if I can get enough magic to get up there. There we go. So this is a fluid pipe supplier, which is set for uh, essence. Um, and it's set to keep a thousand stocks. So when this small build craft tank reaches a thousand millibuckets, uh, it will stop supplying it. Um, but both of those spawners are full of mob juice. So I think uh, let's uh, grab this and oh no, it's not. I already already had them out. So gas and Enderman. So the gas goes in the bottom. So it'll hopefully spawn below there. Can I? Yeah, let's bung you in there. And you in there. <laughs> okay, cool. So the Enderman is are working. Let's just turn those off. I've got toggle switches here. The illuminated toggle switches from Project Red. Um, and let's just see. You see, I might be wrong. The ghast may only be able to spawn on top of it. It depends how the rules work for this. Um, so I might actually have to end up having to swap all this over. Which would be a bit of a shame. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to go, does it? Hmm. Watch him spawn now and break all this glass. Yeah, that does not look... That does not look good, does it? Hmm. Huh. Well, that is a shame. Um, because that means I need... So I'll need to leave a 5x5 five five gap at the top. But the grinders are not going to reach him from there, are they? Hmm. Alternatively... Alternatively, I could have just made this all one block bigger. Um, oh well, um, that might be a thing for next episode, really. Um, if I make it all one block bigger on each side, it should be able to spawn ghasts around the outside. Um, but yeah, this is doing its job in terms of 
these guys. Um, I should be getting ender pearls. Ha ha ha. Yes, beautiful. That's awesome. Now I do have another gas tier. So I can make um, a thingy. Yeah, indeed, a thingy, a safari net. And let's go catch us a green slime to replace that bottom um, thing, uh, bottom, what's he do there? The gas spawner. We'll turn it into a slime spawner. So we should be able to get all sorts of uh, slimes and stuff spawning in this uh, biome. So let's go have a look and see the horses. It's insane. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> let's see if we can uh, get a slime to spawn um, and pick him up. See you in a moment. Okay, well, my hunt for the great green slime was completely unsuccessful. So instead, I bagged myself a cow because I do need some leather. Um, but yeah, this is now empty. Um... This has still got stuff in, but, um, you know, it's quite plain that I do need um, an extra source of uh, mob essence. Are you on now? Oh, yeah, there you go. They're dropping. So that'll pick me up some leather. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's uh, have a look at something else. Um, so I'll probably, before I do move on, um, I'll probably put permanent tank like a steel tank in this area over here maybe rather than over here uh, you know the thing about logistics pipes apart from the time it takes for items to travel down them it doesn't really matter where they are <laughs> on the network um that's one of the great things it just handles it all um but yeah um obviously this is not the permanent tank um oh I didn't show you, um, I've got an enhanced portal. These things are great. Um, so they're not too expensive, requires some ender pearls and whatnot, um, but it allows you to uh, store addresses. And for example, oh, we'll go in here and this is our, this is my little nether base thing, um, just for, you know, getting into the nether and i had real problems with um synchronizing of portals oh, that, there is a graphical glitch i don't know if it's my client or something you see that chicken and horse they're not really there they are not really there and you'll see more of them around and now when i go back to the overworld you'll see nether mobs dropping all over the place it's crazy whoa <laughs> um Hmm, or maybe not. Wow. <laughs> Stop it. Two other people on, so I can't uh, sleep. So that's a thing. Um, but yeah, let's... Uh, oh, 28 minutes. 28 minutes. Hmm. Let's see. Um, let's just make a decision then, and then we'll call it end of an episode i did want to get onto the storage room today but that is probably was probably massively massively over ambitious <laughs> whoa loud um i think we should put the storage room let's see i need it's needs it's going to be pretty big that is the thing with logistics pipes um your stuff is big, basically. Um, but we've got plenty of room and area to work with. I think what we'll do is we'll put it over there. Let's um, um, grab some stuff and things. Uh, put all this away. Just a minute. Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze then. <laughs> really... And you get that feeling where it's all kind of bunching up in the back of your nose and uh <laughs> um right let's uh i like these aligned bricks um they're a thing to build with um 
let's grab a few no stacks of those and let's just quickly mark out an area um, so I think let's see if we start maybe if we go here and then make it say somewhere around this size I think it's probably going to be one of the bigger buildings in the base um, hello <laughs> um, yeah something like that And yeah, bring it on through there. Two around there and do do um Yeah. So something around that size. Obviously you're gonna fill this in and probably have to kill all the horses that have made their way down here <laughs> um, but I will it won't have to be that big I don't think we'll use diamond chests or maybe the um, dark craft upgraded this thing here is a storage unit that's been upgraded all the way so it's the same size as, as a diamond chest um, and we're gonna just retreat downstairs a little bit out of a shot of that lightning <laughs> oh wow it's loud oh come on really <laughs> uh, anyway um, yeah so with deep storage units and um, we can stack them quite high and we don't actually have to be able to reach all the chests because uh, well um, You'll see, <laughs> Logistics Pipes has some uh, uh, nice options uh, in that kind of area. So, um, uh, yeah, I think we can work with that, make it somewhere around that big, maybe a bit smaller. Might as well go back up if I can still hear it down at the, hear that lightning at the bottom. Um, so, I think that's what we're going to work on next time. We've really got to clear this area out. I mean, I've got to hook up <laughs> the rest of the solar panels that I, I can't get to because of these. And really, I don't want to run another quarry until um, I get some proper storage online that I can pipe all my stuff straight into. So, anyway, um, that episode, this episode has gone on long enough. Uh, I think I might just AFK those things a bit to... Um, put them back in and AFK them a bit to um, to build up some um, mob juice and uh, haha, leather excellent that means I can start upgrading my force pack and stuff like that um, and making ender chests be all good don't know what I'm gonna do with all this gear um, but yeah that is all we've got time for today um, didn't quite get as much done as i hoped but i hope you enjoyed the episode anyway uh, and until next time guys take care of yourselves